All right, um, someone wanted some basic uh, skinning here. Um, so what we're going to do is, first thing is, you can see, I have pretty much just put a simple bone system in here um, behind the uh, behind the uh, shaded view here. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is really quickly just add, a, add an IK chain to the bone. Um, that's simple animation, IK solver, IK limb, and I think we're going to have to go down here. All right, so that's just a simple, simple bone there. All right, so now when we uh, have the cylinder here, all we're going to do is add a skin modifier, okay? Um, very basic, very simple, and then you're going to add your bones, and I'm going to just pick bone one through three. And once you do that, it automatically works. Um, that is it. So, but you're going to notice you're going to get a lot of bends and twists. That's where you have to go in and kind of manipulate these the objects. So, go to your envelopes, and the first thing you can do with your envelopes is enlarge them. Now, the outer envelopes don't really mean much. Um, it's your inner envelopes that actually control everything. I'm going to always make sure my vertices are controlled. And I'm going to basically just go like this and row it up like that. Okay, so that's my first one. And then I'm going to go to my second bone here and enlarge that. Nope, not, not that one. And go to this one right here. All right, so as you can see, I've got my bones in there. Now, <clears throat> what you're going to do is you can always test your animation by simply unselecting the envelope and testing your bones. Now, you see how it's bending, and I don't like it bending there. So, you know, this is where the big point of doing your, your, your bones is. Okay, you always want to go in and edit your envelopes, okay? and be able to go in and select vertices like so and kind of see the the weights on them okay so if you notice here on this particular bone down here I've got full control of the weights on this one I've got um, I've got this blue area right here so if I want I can always go in and select this vertice and there's a couple of different ways that you can do this um, the first way uh, is the weight table, which, to be honest with you, the weight table um, for a couple bones works fine. Um, however, for this many bone, or you know, for a whole skeleton or an advanced rig, uh, not so fine. Um, you can control everything here with the amount of weights that you have. Um, the other thing is the weight tool, which I like using. Um, basically, you select the weight tool. And then you can select on your bones. Notice here your bones have 50-50. So if on this one I change all these weights to 25, it basically goes to 75. Um, same thing here. I would select the bottom vertices. Oops. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Bones go. Here we go. Uh, select my bone like this. Uh, so I'm going to scoot up with Max here. Uh, all right. Go back. Go back into the envelopes. And, hmm, let me pause this while I figure out what's going on. Sorry about that. I don't know what was going on. But now I can go back here and go back to my weight table here. And go to my weight tool, and I can actually control, um, you know, how much exactly is in there. Okay, and that's very simple, you know, quick, effective way to do it. Um, you know, and then you can get it bend. Of course, it's not. This is not really animated to bend, so it's not going to bend right. But 
Um, the next thing that you can do is you can actually do it with painted weights. Okay, um, Go back into your envelopes node and your painting weights will go on and you'll get this brush here and you basically can select um, you can actually minus and add in more weights if you want and paint paint your weights. Um, your, here's your weight tools. Um, you can go in and control the strength, the full strength that you have, and so on and so forth. So you can go in and paint more weights and so on and so forth. Um, so I can go in and control more weights, and I can basically go in and remove those weights too. All right, so that's pretty much what this tool does. And that's really the basics on, on controlling basically a skin modifier. Um, you guys, some of you guys might have noticed there is a physique modifier. Physique is an older form. Personally, I think it does a better job of, of initially attaching all the weights. However, physique a lot of times is not supported in a lot of your game engines. So um, I know it's an issue with Unity for sure. Um, there are workarounds, but skin is usually the way to go. All right. Bye.